All right, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. I'm Camille. I'm Kristen. And today we are going to be making 12 freezer meals that you can cook in your Instant Pot or your slow cooker. Now we've made lots of freezer meals for you guys before and you, you seem to really love them. So we yeah. decided to give you six more, so we're gonna make two of each recipe. Now meat is a little hard to find, so there are some meatless meals in here, so hopefully that will help you guys out as you're prepping and getting ready to make your food. All right, well if you guys are ready, let's get cooking. Okay, so the first recipe we're making today is black bean taco soup. Now you have a few options with this one. Yes. It's a little hard to find certain meats right now, yep. and so we're gonna show you how to do it with meat and without meat, yeah. so. It's super versatile, like, you can use this. We usually make it with ground beef or ground turkey, but you could also throw in some chicken breast, or it's delicious just as is, it's without any meat. Exactly, so today we're gonna make it with no meat at all, and my kids loved it. Like, yeah, they absolutely it's delicious. Loved it, so. All right, start with our beans. Yep. Okay. Sometimes when I don't add meat to this meal, I will add in a second can of black beans. Oh, that's a great just idea. Just to give it a little bit more oomph. oomph. Yeah. All right, corn next. Yep. Now this is undrained corn, just because you need a little bit of that liquid, so it will pressurize. Green chilies. Yeah, green chilies, that yep. sounds great. Again, we didn't drain them, just juice and all on this thing. This is a really mild taco soup, it's not hot, but you could add some jalapenos. It's true. With those green chilies it's if true. you want to. All right, Which diced? Next? Diced tomatoes. Yep. And these are just normal sized cans. Like this one is a 14 yep, ounce size of diced tomatoes. There uh -huh. we go. And the stewed. Stewed. Stewed tomatoes. My kids don't really love stewed tomatoes, so yeah. you can do two cans of diced if you want. Yep, and you could do two cans of stewed. Like whatever you have on hand exactly. works great. Exactly, I've know. even done it with whole tomatoes, and then just kind of, if they still had big chunks, I just kind just, of chopped them up, but it wasn't smart. a big deal. Okay. So then you need half a can of this tomato sauce in each one, or an eight ounce can, the smaller cans. So there's one half. Thanks. And then, ooh, I'm out of control. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kristen in the kitchen. Yes, it is. And then I just did one onion chopped. Yep. And you can leave those kind of in big pieces too. Yeah, because they will cook they down. They cook down. Yeah. And then taco seasoning. Now I like to buy Smith's or Kroger taco seasoning because it's only like 29 cents yeah, for one packet. Yeah, super inexpensive so. and it's got good flavor. Exactly. You can also make your own if you're feeling domestic. Really? Yeah, homemade taco seasoning, it's really easy. I'm not feeling very domestic yeah. today, okay. <laughs> today we are just all about quick, easy, and survival. <laughs> exactly. During now, this. if you had meat, like you could put your ground beef in here yep. right now. Already cooked. Already cooked, your chicken already cooked. Or it, I'll do frozen chicken breasts too. Right. You just have to increase the time. Exactly. But it works great. So this recipe right here that's meatless, it only cooks for five minutes in your Instant Pot yep. or three to four hours in the slow cooker. Um, if you did add chicken, you'd want to make sure that mm -hmm. it's like 20 to 25 20 minutes. 25. Mm -hmm. yep. But other than that, it's pretty versatile yep. and delicious. So, so easy. easy. <laughs> All right, let's, do the, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next one we're making is one that's super popular on our website. It's yes. our cream cheese chicken pasta. So easy, kids love it. It's got some good flavor. So you start with um, about a pound, pound and a half of chicken yeah. breast. I did like four, yes. four frozen ones. Four frozen <laughs> chicken breasts. Whatever you have on hand is gonna work great. Yeah. And then you're gonna do a can of cream of chicken soup. So this is a huge can, so we're gonna do half in each one. I'll just do it while I'm Thank you. here. I did some grocery delivery and uh, this is what I you got get. the big can, so right? we're gonna make it work. Since we can't this go is... inside grocery stores, exactly. we gotta go with what they give us. Exactly. Okay, and then you're gonna put in a whole block of cream cheese. Now if you want to, I have made this with like the less fat cream cheese, and it works okay. We're trying to stay, keep our hands clean, but. That uh, didn't work. That makes <laughs> it interesting, huh? Okay, and then you're gonna do a packet of Italian salad dressing mix. Yes. This is not salad dressing. This is just the seasoning that you would need to make like a homemade um, Italian dressing. And so yep. you're just gonna sprinkle that in there, the whole packet. Um, mm. You could get a lot of different brands of this. Like right. we just even got store brand. I just go whatever is cheapest, it, especially if you're <laughs> working with Kroger. They, they really have the best store yeah, brand they've products. they've got great it's stuff. my favorite. Okay, the last thing you're gonna do is two cups of chicken broth. So we're gonna do half and half because there's four in this. Four cups, yep. Yep, so pour that right in. I'll let you pour mine too if that's okay. Yeah, 
Awesome. And so we were talking before we started filming, this recipe is unique because you don't mix it together when you're done. No. And you, you can tell them why. Yeah, yeah. So you want to make sure that the liquid is separated from the cream, the cream of chicken soup and cream cheese, because if you mix it all together, it's not really much of a liquid anymore. So you need that liquid to pressurize. Now, if you do forget and you do mix it together, you can always add like half a cup of water in your, um, as you cook it in your instant pot. So, mm -hmm. but for us, yep. So you just leave we're it, just gonna leave it as, as is. Layers. It's not pretty, but it that's, sure does taste good. Yep. So. That's what you need, and it will be really creamy when you make it, yeah. um, because of the cream cheese that's in there. And, and that sometimes, gets all melty. like sometimes, even with recipes, I do like to throw an extra half a cup of water in there with freezer meals, just in case. We just don't yep. want the burn notice because. Then your food doesn't cook. Exactly, yep. and it takes forever. Sometimes, so. so we serve this over pasta, like you just make your favorite pasta. Yeah. yeah. But it's also really good over rice. Oh. So sometimes we'll make like this that. over rice, and it's delicious. That's a good idea. Yeah. So instant pot, 20 to 25 minutes, slow cooker, six to eight hours on low. Yep. And you just do the same exact thing in the slow cooker, just dump it all in. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All one right. Done. Moving on. All right. So this recipe is our root beer pulled pork and. It's amazing. There's not a ton of ingredients, nope. but it tastes so good. So we were having some issues getting meat. So we have <laughs> one pork roast, pork roast, and then one beef roast. Yeah. But this recipe will work with either, either one. one. So whatever you can find, yep. go for it. Whatever so. your grocery store has in stock, this will work. Exactly. You can also do this with chicken. Really? I've never it's had just a, chicken a before. sweet barbecue, and you just shred it and serve it like on sandwiches because it's like a mm. pulled pork or pulled roast or pulled chicken. So. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, so both of them, they cook for about 60 minutes. 60 if they're thawed. I would go either 70 or 80 if they're frozen. Yeah, so totally. I like nice and tender. To yeah, fall apart. That's exactly. what we're going for. All right, should we do it? Yep. Okay, first we have one teaspoon of salt. We're just dumping in. Next, now this bottle is kind of big, so you don't need the whole bottle, but usually just like about a bottle of barbecue sauce. This mm -hmm. is a new one that I have not tried before. I did taste it to make sure it was good. Oh, you did? Yeah. yeah. Anyways, sweet and tangy. It's good. I like it. Kristen loves barbecue. I love barbecue. Yeah, she does. All barbecue sauce. Yep. And this one really, because there are so few ingredients, like I know some people will be like, that's silly. Like, why not just pour those into the Instant Pot? And here's why. At least for me. Yeah. I love to be able to tell my kids and my husband, like, hey, go pull a freezer <laughs> meal out of the freezer and that's what you'll make for dinner tonight. Like exactly. it's their job to put it in the instant pot and get it started. And I love that they don't have to do any of the work. Like right. it's already there, it's already done, everything's been measured out. So even my 10 year old and seven year old can put it in the instant pot, set the timer to that, and you're good, you're to, good go. to go. So that's why we do these super simple freezer meals or your babysitter or right. any one that you need to help you or just start when dinner. you don't want to think about dinner it's you so just true pull it out and you're good and you're okay. good to go so i'm guesstimating here yeah mm -hmm. i'm good at that cup and a half cup and a half about I mean, 12 ounces like yeah. if say you only have like one can of root beer that works great totally fine we just need it for the sweetness you can also do coke or yep. Dr. Pepper, just don't want to do diet no. because of the artificial sweeteners. We need this. We need the sugar to help break down that meat and to make it um, so tender. Yes. So. Yes. All right. That's all there is with this recipe. All right. So make sure as you're doing these, I like to just make sure all the air is out. Now we've yeah. talked about before in my other freezer meal videos, you can like freeze them in a pitcher or something like yeah. that, but. To be honest, I like to save the room and just lay them flat. And Especially that's how it works best if you only have just one simple one freezer. Freezer, freezer. I'm pointing to her freezer. She has a pull-out one, like with a drawer. Like yeah. you do want to stack them, and it's easy. And if you thaw it just a tiny bit, you can kind of mold it into the shape you need it to put in your instant pot. It's true. I have it's a true. friend though who even freezes them in her instant pot pot. Really? <laughs> yep, so that it's the perfect shape. So all she has to do is just drop, drop it, in, it in. And it's the perfect shape. Perfect. So. All right, done Dang. with this recipe. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next one we're making is a three bean enchilada casserole. This is another one that's meatless. However, you could throw in chicken, you could throw in some cooked ground beef, whatever you have on hand, but it's delicious as is without any meat. So here exactly. you go. We're gonna dive in. So there's two kinds of beans. We're gonna start with our black beans. Okay. They're already rinsed and drained. Yes. And then and pinto? Yep, pinto okay. beans. 
And if you only have, like, say you have two cans of black beans and one can of pinto, works great. Perfect. Like, any three cans of beans will work fine. And then these are just some white beans that mm -hmm. we threw in. Awesome. All right. Next, let's do a can of corn. Okay. So this is not drained, um, just to give you a little bit of extra liquid to help nice. it come to pressure. Perfect, maybe start vegetables. Yep. Let's throw in some onions. So this That's is just one, one whole onion. And, onion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then a green pepper, a, like a bell pepper, and then also a red bell pepper. Perfect. You can do any colors. Right, bell pepper. and we just chop them into kind of like bite-sized pieces. They yeah. will cook down to get smaller, but yeah. I don't love Huge, Huge chunks I of agree. pepper in a bite. So. Okay, and then we've got just some cilantro that's roughly chopped. Now I know not everybody loves cilantro, so that's okay. You don't have to add it in. I just like the little flavor. I do too. It adds some good flavor, so exactly. don't be afraid of it. Next, we're gonna add in a quarter cup of rice. Nice. And then, the last thing is two cups. Yep. of green enchilada sauce. You could do red if you've got red. I like the green though. I do too. It's one of my favorites. It actually is the flavor I prefer. Right, and it's not too hot. Like we no, chose mild so the kids mild. will actually eat it. Yeah, exactly. but if you like hot stuff, go for a, a hotter version. Right. And then right. you just need a half cup of water to help with that rice. Mm -hmm. So I'll do half and half in each one. Okay. And then we're just gonna add, again, a packet of taco seasoning. Yep. Now you can add like, lots of people comment like, you didn't add enough salt, you don't have very good seasonings. You know, you can add whatever seasonings yeah, you want. Make I'm, this your own. Exactly. I just am kind of simple and easy, and yeah. taco seasoning packet, easy. And so. we each have four kids, and yeah. so this is for the palates of a 10-year-old, <laughs> and a 7-year-old, and a 3-year-old. So we do keep it really simple, but Feel free to add whatever flavors you want. Exactly. Throw some chili powder in there, throw some more cumin in there. Whatever you more want. More fresh cilantro. Exactly. Oh man, look at those colors. I know. So this I know is a good. really good one. Exactly. And then we top this with more cheese. Always. Always. But you could Always do like cheese. guacamole, sour yeah. cream. I love cottage Tomatoes. cheese. Yeah. So now there is quite a bit of liquid in here, but it's kind of a little bit thicker liquid. Yeah. So if it is completely frozen, you can go ahead and put half a cup in first, half a cup of water, water. and then the freezer meal. But if it's thawed, it will most likely work. You won't get the burn notice on this, but if it's frozen, there's a good chance you could burn. So half a cup of water, just to be safe. Yeah. All right, okay. done, moving on. So the next recipe is our sweet and spicy pineapple chicken. Now you have options of where you want the heat to be. Yeah. And so with our kids, we're gonna kind of we're gonna keep it simmer. Keep it, yeah, yep. a little lower on the heat side. Yep. So let's get started. First, we put like three to four frozen chicken breasts into yep. our freezer meal bag. Yeah, about a pound and a half exactly. feeds a family of six. Yes. So. Okay. Next, we got our pineapple chunks with all the juice too. You need that to pressurize. If you're doing it in the slow cooker, you still want that juice just because yeah. it's. You want it's the liquid. Good. You yep. do. You do. It's gonna add flavor. Okay. Next. Yeah. Red bell pepper, just chopped up to the size that you like. If you like it big, leave bigger chunks. Yeah. If you want to hide it, do smaller. <laughs> <laughs> right, so the kids can't pick it out. Exactly. Yeah. Now this is fourth a cup of sugar that we're just gonna yeah. dump in. So this is what's gonna help make it sweet. sweet. Yep, should we do our garlic next? Yeah. Perfect. So how many cloves of garlic? So it was two cloves of two garlic. garlic, so I don't know. I just usually just do a heaping. Is yeah, that I think that's horrible? fantastic. I'll nope. just do yours too while I'm at Thanks. it. You're welcome. Okay, <laughs> now we gotta make it hot. Yes, what do you wanna so, do? So we've got sriracha sauce. Two tablespoons is what the recipe calls for. However, my kids don't love the heat. So I'm just gonna do one because it's also gonna add a lot of flavor. Exactly. So you do want to use it, but if you want to kick it up a notch, add two. I just did one in yours as well. Perfect, I, lo I love sriracha. Okay. Okay, um, Okay. Let's, so let's talk about our heat. Yep. Crush pepper. So uh -huh. I would say, that I think it called for one teaspoon of crushed okay. red pepper, but we're just gonna do a half teaspoon. Gotcha, I'm just, just gonna eyeball it a little. Yeah, Just totally. for a little bit of flavor, but not for a lot of heat, yep. right? Because that's the thing, these spices are gonna add flavor. They also add heat, so make sure you add them so that you are getting that flavor. Exactly. You just and don't have to add as much. Oh, and some salt. Before you close it up, oh, I got your salt for you. Oh, thank you. So we're just gonna do like one teaspoon of salt yep. into your bag. There you go. Sweet and salty. I'm excited for this one. This one is good. This one's really good. 
All right, so serving wise, so this will cook for about 25 minutes in your Instant Pot. Mm -hmm. I would go six to eight hours on low in your slow cooker. We usually just serve this one over rice. It's also really good on a salad, like if you have a big green salad. Oh, that, that would be top. good. That would be good. Yeah. Okay, now if you feel like you need more liquid, always feel free to add another half cup of water, yep. so. Okay, all right, this is our last one. Okay, so the last recipe we're making for our freezer meals today is a pot roast. And supposedly, this is the same recipe they have at Texas Roadhouse. So, so I don't perfect. know, give it a try. See if you think it tastes like theirs. Regardless, it's good. It is. So, we're starting with a rump roast or just a chuck roast. Like, whatever roast you can find in your grocery store will work great. It will work, I would say yeah. three to four pounds, somewhere around there. Yeah would yeah. be the best and that will feed a good sized family or give you great leftovers. <laughs> exactly. And then you can't have roast if you don't have potatoes. Exactly. So we're gonna throw in, these are pre-washed little baby, I think these are just white potatoes. Yeah. But really any potatoes you have and you can chop them up if right. you've got like big russet potatoes or baby red potatoes were great. Right. Whatever you maybe, got. maybe like two russet potatoes, yeah. like kind of about that size. Chopped up, yep, right around there. And then we're gonna do just some chopped celery. How much is this? It's Half, two stalks. Just two stalks, yep. okay. And then one red bell pepper. Nice. There's yeah. lots of peppers in I these know. recipes. I, I love, love it, it though. It's such a good way to get in vegetables and I love when vegetables cook with the meat. <laughs> exactly. Because my kids will eat them. And then just one onion. One onion. Okay, and then we've got okay. a plethora of seasonings. Yes, we do, because we got a little lazy and stuck them all together. <laughs> so we have one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and a half teaspoon of thyme right here. Oh, okay. So, not too so difficult. All the good stuff. Exactly. I love thyme on top of a pot roast. Me too. Okay, and then more seasonings. We're gonna add in some beef bouillon cubes. Yep. Just two of those, just throw them right on top. If I can open If we can there open we go. We got yep. this. We got this. I saw that you can buy beef bouillon that's like, <gasps> you can Nuts. measure out with a teaspoon. Really? Yeah. Like it's all powdered. It's awesome. Nice. nice. Okay. And then we're going to do half cup of this. Yep. Half cup of tomato sauce. So we'll just do a little bit in each one. And we eyeball. Yeah. We're yeah, just. Because we're moms. <laughs> here, and here's <laughs> the thing. Like, you can't mess this up. You can't. Like, you really can't. Just. Whatever you want to do. And so exactly. then you need a half cup of barbecue sauce. So yep. we're just going to eyeball that again. And while she does barbecue sauce, I'm just going to do, it's about two cloves, so I'm just kind of doing a heaping of our pre-chopped cloves. Some people don't like them. If you want to chop up your own cloves too, that's great. Yeah, I just, whatever you want to I do. I love the refrigerator cloves. You bet. And if you don't have fresh cloves, you could just add a little bit of garlic powder. That's a good idea. You'd be fine. Like, yep. Just Make it work. Okay, and then we got about three fourths cup of water that we're just gonna dump in. So we'll need that to pressurize. Okay, there you go. It's kind of a good mix with like traditional pot roast. Right. And then you add a little bit of barbecue sauce in there. Something in there. It yeah, smells good. It's good. I'm That's excited gonna be for this a good one. combo. Me too. I have this for dinner too. Right. <laughs> dinner is done. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Well, that's it. And oh, then, we got to talk about how it cooks. Sorry. Yes, yes, real quick. So 60 to 90 minutes, depending on how big your roast is. If it's a really big yeah. one, make sure you go for 90. If it's small, go ahead and go for 60. And then slow cooker, I love to do these low and slow, like and eight to 10 way. hours yep. on low in the If slow you cooker. are gonna be gone all day, like working, throw this in your slow cooker in the morning, let it cook for that eight to 10 hours on low, like, it's so good, it's and your house good. smells so good. Exactly, it's the best part. All right, you guys, we hope you love these freezer meals. Now, if you wanna check out our 15 other freezer meals, you can check out those freezer meals right up there. All right, that's it, we'll see you guys next time. See you later, bye. bye.